I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Elgaris, I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just go, tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Sidonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Mistledown Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video, and a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres, and even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on Patreon.com slash Online. If you want to check that out, link is in the description below. Uh, sincerely appreciate you guys. Huge shout out to our two newest, Tanya and Sean Caster. You guys are beautiful i love you thank you for becoming patrons so the last episode of mass effect 2 saw us tackle another loyalty mission this one one of my favorites and that was actually garris's eye for an eye loyalty mission so garris yet another squad member who is now loyal and also if like let's just commander. take a quick update on our loyal members we have garris and we can actually see his new uniform now his new uh his new armor which actually is also destroyed which just feels weird so nowadays he's going to be able to go ahead and use this armor that we're going to give him i don't know i mean this one looks really good too maybe we'll give him i i kind of like him in the blue we're gonna go with this one i like it uh so we only have four more people that can be loyal uh as of right now anyways we're still missing whoever this person might be uh but i think that these three will be tackled before the mandatory mission and tally we're going to wait until very very late in the game to do her loyalty mission even though her bonus power of energy drain is actually incredibly good uh we're going to wait just a bit on that my friends so we also in the last episode got an upgrade that we can go grab which is over here we got sniper rifle of course because um well you know our boy our boy Garrus is going to need that. So we were able to get that real quick. And which also brings me to a, a really good point. In today's episode, we're going to start the layer of the Shadow Broker DLC, which I'm very excited for. But before we do that, we are going to do a little bit of shopping, which I can do on Tuchanka and Elium. So the first place we're going to check out is Tuchanka. If we come over to Ratch's Wares, we'll find that we can now buy the Asymmetric Defense Layer and the Shield Harness. Uh, but we're going to wait on both of those because I just don't want to spend the credits on those. Uh, it's going to be very tight over at Fortex. Fortex is way better because I'm actually not even going to be equipping those items that uh, are over at Ratch's. Instead, we're going to see what we can get at Fortex because remember, there was a ton of upgrades that we could get here. So, the only ones that we have now are the Assault Rifle Damage and the Pistol. Because we picked up the Assault Rifle, it makes sense now that we pick this up. So, we're going to go ahead and get that. We now only have 35,000 credits, but that Assault Rifle upgrade is going to be incredibly useful. Because Layer of the Shadow Broker is some of the harder, harder missions in the entire game. So, the next place we're going to go is Elium. Now, before we land on Elium, I'm just going to pick a party of people that I don't think have been in my party since we've been on Elium. Uh, not that it's a big deal or anything, but I'm just going to pick Garrus and Miranda for now. Miranda has been in my party, but uh, I just want to go ahead and give her some max out her heavy warp because she is actually going to be incredibly useful in the missions to come pretty much for the rest of the entire game. Uh, she's incredibly good. Having overload and warp is just too strong. So uh, we can also check their loadout. It doesn't matter because we're going to Elium. However, what I do want to say is that as we land on Elium, we will see the results of a quest that we got way back during Samara's recruitment mission, which is pretty cool. Excuse me, my sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? Huh. Yes, we sure did. We found that right inside uh, when we were trying to find Samara for the first time. So we could beat around the bush and, and say, you know, what's it to you? Or we can just say, yeah, I did. It looks suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Fax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who was cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct a mistake. 
Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. That was the nicest interaction I have ever had with a Krogan in my life. We'll get a ton of Renegade points for that, two Paragon points for being direct, 1,500 credits, and 40 experience. And now that quest is completely done. Just a car, stolen goods found, is now done. And we have done our due diligence. We are a good, a good citizen. Anyways, we're going to continue through Elium because not only is this where the Layer of the Shadow Broker mission, uh, DLC, whatever you want to call it, will start. Uh, it's not DLC anymore. It's just part of the game, Legendary Edition. Uh, but also, uh, we need to do some shopping here, even though we have no money. We can also talk to Garrus because we haven't done that yet. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. I love that. Because, like, it is, but only only for certain people, How right? You short sell on prefabs after like, human like it, is, it is still safer than Omega. Omega's not safe at all. Uh, anyways, we can come over here and see that we have, we still have the bypass module. We still have this tech damage, biotic damage. Those things are going to be incredibly useful. Uh, biotic damage is going to increase warp. Tech damage is going to increase overload. Both of those are such useful abilities that we would love those. There's also the Kestrel hel uh, helmet, which is one of the best in the game. However, I just don't think it's worth looking like that <laughs> throughout the game. Like, I just, I just don't really think it's worth it. But there is more shopping that we can do as well. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to head to the Eternity Bar in Ilium, and we can pick up this data pad. Shipping routes into the Terminus systems. Don't worry, our contact is a Batarian gentleman named Anto. He's one of Arya Talok's flunkies. We're keeping his palms well greased. He should offer us safe passage through the systems. As long as we stay beneath Arya's notice, we should be fine. Sincerely, Valeria. Interesting. Also, these guys are still... I did have a big nerve stimulation program built into my suit. And I hear that the love scenes are... What? Oh, yeah. Standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh, here. Let me fire it up. Uh, excuse me, human. Private conversation. Ugh. A little space, please. I want one of those suits. Anyways, that was the second package we could find for Ish. Uh, speaking of packages, the Turian and Quarian are gonna... Go. <laughs> Woo! Good for them. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, Quarians. Um, so we're going to head to where the second shopping is. I just wanted to make sure that we were done with Ish's side quest right. now. We got both of the the Let's things we needed from both the... Uh, the... Um, Citadel and from Ilium. I like couldn't think of where I was going. Anyways, let's go spend some money. And finally, the gateway of personal defense that's over in the transport section. We can find all of this stuff that we just can't buy because we're just so broke. We need this rifle damage upgrade actually because it's the very last one we can get. The damage product protection is really good and obviously the heavy skin weave. So we have a lot of money to try to save up. I'm just gonna buy that. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy, it was a thousand credits, whatever. Uh, so we have a lot of money to buy. Uh, to save so that we can actually buy everything, which is the perfect time to go start Layer of the Shadow Broker because there is a lot of moolah and upgrades that we can actually get from that mission. It's actually pretty wild. So let's go find Liara and let's check in. And looks like there's no one working the administration desk anymore because if you remember, well, she was a traitor to Liara and traitors to Liara, they don't last long. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. You friend? The one who helped recover my body from the Shadow Broker? The same. He sacrificed himself to save me. 
I never found anything suggesting he was alive. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Farron, by the way, and Liara both went to Arya Talok on Omega, uh, trying to figure out about what Cerberus and, and what the Blue Suns actually were doing with Shepard's body. Arya Talok is who led Liara and Farron to Shepard. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. If he's been the Shadow Broker's prisoner for two years, he may not be in good shape. I know. But yesterday, all I wanted was the chance to avenge his death. Today, he's alive. I'll do whatever I have to do to get him back. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. All right, well, let's head to the transportation network area. Before we begin this mission, let's just look at the Shadow Broker intel that we've received from Cerberus Information Processing. We're aware that your old friend Liara Tassoni has been hunting for the Shadow Broker for several years. We wouldn't mind helping her in that hunt, given the Broker's past work for the Collectors. We recently uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find the Shadow Broker's base of operations, but unfortunately, she doesn't have much faith in Cerberus intel. If you'd visit Elysium and pass it on to her as a gesture of goodwill, we'd we'll appreciate it. Okay, listen, give Fax a full refund, do you hear me? He knows, I don't know how, it doesn't matter, credit him a full refund now, and then get your ass someplace safe! Well, I guess we found Leave who me alone. I can't talk to anybody. I guess we found who was screwing over Thax. Anyways, we'll come over here, call a cab, and head to Liara's apartment. And for this first part of the Shadow Broker. DLC, which we have officially started, we're going to choose a party of Garrus and Miranda. We want Overload. We want Warp. It is delicious. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, we already put the two points into armor piercing ammo, and Miranda is now hanging out with her heavy warp. Can't wait for that Overload. Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Sandra, we got an open carrier on this end, switching to a coded relay. What's going on? This area is sealed off. Please step back, ma'am. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. Already done. Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. A Spectre? I heard your status was reinstated. Good. You're one of our most famous operatives. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Tissoni. Note the bullet holes. She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. If Liara isn't here, where is she? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sifting through her crap. There's no blood, no body. It looks like Tissoni got away. The sniper didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Paranoid. But clever. How does Televasir know that there was a kinetic barrier? 
Did the police find anything when they arrived? Just the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Ilium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I haven't found anything useful for tracking her down yet. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. So, we come face to face with another Spectre. One we haven't... We, I mean, we haven't really encountered any other Spectres in the game except for Saren. The rifle used to do that wasn't standard issue. The kinetic barrier deflected the shots, but they still managed to penetrate the glass. Hmm. Find some of Shepard's old In-7 armor here. It's part of my old armor. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. Yeah, well, I got blown up. We'll wait to talk to Televasir as we go through. A doctor from the University of Ceres, back on Thessia. She's getting good use out of all that education. Yeah, that's not the Asari homeworld. I'm not sure what planet that is. It's Ilos. Of course it is. Look at her kitchen. Looks like she had two wine glasses out, so she was expecting us. She was making some food for us, maybe? Anyways, we can check in with Televasir. Don't worry, Commander. We'll find her. And then we'll head up here, where we're going to find a picture. That's a pretty big deal. The picture changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean-looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. Those things must be worth a fortune. So, immediately we find one right here. Nothing to do at all with trying to find Liara, but it apparently cost a lot of money. There's another one over here by the door. She was certainly into ugly. How no. dare you. We can find one right here as well. Vasir, I've got something here. Backup disc. Let's try it on her terminal. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sagat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony, you're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sagat. I'll see you in a few hours. This must be important. The Shadow Brokers people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. Lucky for us, we have a ride. The Barrier Frontiers. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. could be a problem. They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me. And just like that, this place has been attacked, trying to get Liara, trying to get Sakat, the, her informant that apparently was about to tell her where the Shadow Broker is. All of this because Liara is getting close to the location of the Shadow Broker, probably confirm that Shepard is now helping her, somebody who would be an actual threat to the Shadow Broker and Cerberus, who almost rivals, or rivals, rivals, 
rivals Cerberus's network itself. Anyways, we're going to head inside to this just bombed building. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we are ready to go, and I'm going to switch to my Geth Plasma Shotgun just so that that's equipped and ready. And we will notice that there are dead bodies everywhere. Unfortunately, no one saw this coming. So we're going to go ahead and use this elevator. The elevators are out and building security is down. No alarm. I guess we're not going to use that. So, we're going to continue through here. There's nothing else that we can grab. No items or anything, unfortunately. Which, you hate to see. However, there is a locker here that we can examine for 3,700 credits. Area Frontier employee. Looks like he got caught in the explosion. I wouldn't take any bets on Tosoni's informant surviving that blast. Let's hope that he did survive that blast. Anyways, we can get a med kit, uh, a med station here for 100 credits since we don't need it at all we will be able to come back here so don't worry too much about it if you if you don't need it or if 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 you're like oh i need i want to wait for this mercs came from the smoke killing everyone casualty here looks like he's got bullet wounds watch yourself vizier they used military grade hardware bullet wounds guess this was more than just an explosion well Looks like this place was also attacked by mercenaries. Probably untraceable mercenaries. Smart for the Shadow Broker to use them. We'll grab this med station as well for another 100 credits. And we can use this PDA that's on this body for 2,500 credits. Yeah, we're stealing from the dead. So what? What about it? Anyways, we'll see that there's a Salarian Embassy over here. There is the Nezo Transportation. There's the Elophil Ashland Energy. None of those can be accessed. The only whoop. The only way that we can proceed is by going up here, which is good for us actually, because we can hack this ATM for six thousand two hundred and fifty credits. Easy hack. You love to see it. That is a lot of credits to get for us. Anyways, we can come over here, the X Solar Shipping, and grab these power cells. Since we are full, we'll get 100 credits yet again. That's 300 extra credits. It all adds up, my friends. Think about throughout the game how many credits you can get if you just don't use those to refill your heavy ammo. We can find this bomb as well. I found a military-grade explosive device. It hasn't been armed. Sloppy work. You use that kind of hardware when you don't have time to plan. Interesting, but I thought they did have time to plan. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and Same give weapon. the sniper rifle to our friend Garrus here because I have a feeling we're about to run into potentially some enemies. So let's go ahead and open this door. Oh, I guess maybe not. We'll go ahead and use this logbook. I'm at the Barrier Frontiers office. Liara signed in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Welcome to Barrier Frontiers. So we arrived at Beria Frontiers, where Liara said she was going to go, and we're going to be greeted immediately by a flashbang and our first Shadow Broker agent, who we are just going to absolutely murder. See if we can get a charge here. We need to be a little bit careful because there are heavies as well that we need to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and charge and try to take these guys out as quickly as possible. Watch out for the heavy that's here as well. Woo, which I missed. It's fine. Go ahead and take these out and be careful because there's going to be a lot more enemies here with another flashbang. This is our first time coming across an enemy that is going to flashbang us, by the way. Uh, you love you love to be flashbanged. Using our own tactics against us. How rude. Anyways, we're going to continue this way here. Use this for cover so we can also access this terminal. 3,000 credits. And we're going to start charging up our Geth Plasma Shotgun so that when we are able, we are going to... Pop this and take them out. But we're not done yet. We're going to be dealing with more enemies, including this Vanguard here. Unfortunately, it looks like Garrus was taken out by that Vanguard, which, which is super strange because I actually didn't even hear that Vanguard go and attack him. But that's fine. We'll melee her to death and continue on. You can see that. Look at Helium. It looks so cool. Oh, wait. I'm a little busy. I can't. Listen, I can't be looking at I can't be looking at Helium right now. I got, I got stuff to do. Anyways, we're going to watch out for this heavy... Go ahead and charge. Taking this heavy down. And more Shadow Broker agents. You'll notice that these guys actually fight a little bit differently than enemies you may encounter throughout the main game. Probably because this DLC is actually just so good. We're going to go ahead and overload that just to take it out. And we're going to go ahead and charge. Get our shields back. Watch out for... Oh no, oh no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Backed myself into a corner there. 
go ahead and charge this engineer who we are then going to warp and see if we can get a concussive charge this heavy here getting a cover back here just a little bit perfect Whew. see that these pipes are look for a switch to activate the fire suppressant system go ahead and just hit that real quick which will do that and we can salvage that and we can grab that element zero on the ground as well now we're still in combat so let's just go back and finish these oh i don't have to because my team is awesome what up but we do want to go back because there is other things that we can grab there i just just kind of using this place for cover and then thought oh well you know if they're telling us to find the maintenance thing let's go ahead and do that we can grab this terminal access for another three thousand credits but look at this place absolutely destroyed with the bombing they still came in it is they are it is very important to them to take out Liara right now, which is, uh, you know, there's something about it. She's, she's, she's the love of Commander Corey Shepard's life here, you know? And uh, you gotta respect the fact that she's so powerful and so cool that everyone wants her dead. Like, there's just something really cool about that. Anyways, now that we put out the fire, we can continue on this way. I believe we've gotten all the credits that we can get. We got everything out of this room. That element zero kind of hidden in the flames, but we were able to put it out with that and continue on. Luckily, another flashbang coming in. Go ahead, wait for that to go off. And now we can start charging these guys and do some damage, which is gonna be nice. We're actually going to area overload and other overload, taking out as many shields as possible. And then we can just come in here and take those guys out. Look at how easy we just, it, that's what I mean. When you have a when you have a squad that's actually made for not just story and is actually made for because it doesn't really story wise it doesn't really matter who you bring here at all. Uh, you want you want to bring power over anything else. We can go ahead and research uh, access this research terminal for heavy pistol damage, which you love to see. We do use that occasionally, not as much anymore because of the matic, but hey. I'll still take it. Anyways, we can look around this room, see that there's a wall safe on the wall here that we can open. We don't have to hack it or anything for 5,000 credits. I guess the bomb must have deactivated the mechanism on that. And... Been a few seconds faster, I could have stopped them. Is this a cat? Must have been. No sign of that dig Aliara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Uh, speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Liara, this is Vizier. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. You didn't know where Liara went because she hid the message. You needed me to find it for you. Thanks for the help. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood bitch! I mean, listen, I would love, I would absolutely love to go after Liara because, you know, it's Liara. But listen, 
We got some people to deal with and some things to loot. So let's go ahead and finish off all of these guys as quickly as we can. We'll go ahead and just melee these to death. Watch out for that heavy who has just got the worst aim. You know, for a Shadow Broker agent, you're not very good at your job. Like, you're actually, listen, you're actually quite, you're quite terrible at it, in fact. And let's continue down here, see if we can catch up to them. She's getting away. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help, Liara. I'm here to help. Looks like we have more agents waiting for us now in the lobby. How do they get down here? Pfft, don't know. I guess they use the elevator. Anyways, we got heavies. We got agents. We got engineers. We got, there. you know, so many enemies here. But we'll be able to take them all out because we're awesome and because we have the power of Garrus and Miranda on our sides who are just meant for this mission. They are so, so strong. Let's go ahead and access out here. We got everything that we can get. It's not like new items appeared, so hopefully we can find Televasir before she gets away. And we actually have a pretty big decision here. We can take Miranda or take Garrus. It's it's not that big of a decision. It's Miranda. You want her warp and her overload. Garrus really just has overload. So we're taking Miranda. Miranda is the strongest squad member that you can have in an Insanity playthrough as a Vanguard pretty much across the board. She's so good. So let's go. We got to catch up with Televasir in one of the coolest sections of Mass Effect 2, no joke. It is wild what we are about to do, which is a car chase straight out of straight out of the beginning of uh the right. No wait left. I'm on her. Straight out of the, the Star Wars why am I um atta uh, attack of the clones. I couldn't Woo! I was gonna say Clone Wars. It's not Clone Wars. She's around the corner. And we'll just keep following her, and we're we're not I'm driving quite data. quite as good as our boy Anakin. But hey, we just need to make sure that she doesn't get too far away, and that we can keep go, an go, eye go, on go, her, go, go, go. so that we know I'm exactly sorry. where she goes. If if somehow you lose access and you're not able traffic, to look at her, we'll uh, you'll lose the target, and she'll get away. That's not gonna happen. We're gonna stick on her butt. And she is not going to be able to lose us. She's dropping proximity charges. And of course, I we notice. need to watch out for some proximity charges. Don't get hit by those. That's bad news bears. But we shouldn't need to worry about that too much. Unless, of course, we get hit by one immediately as I say that. Doesn't matter too much. That one that we just got hit by was actually, like, the only one what that we would want to get hit by. Thing have? It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. Wonderful. Well, looks like we're not going to be able to shoot anything. I know. Look, I know. Well, we'll just dodge that truck. There we go. Totally fine. Enjoying this. Yeah, a little bit. I don't really know what her reinforcements did, if anything, but hey. I had on collision at this speed. Yeah, I think those could be bad for you. Yeah, that would be <laughs> the conversation between Liara and Shepard in here. Truck again. Dodging this way. There we go. Get me some damn backup. 
Azure is this dope ass hotel. And more importantly, my friends, there are some enemies here, but this is the coolest thing. Liara is now in our squad. And I hate to tell you this, I hate to break the news, but not permanently, just for this mission. And she has a ton of points. We're going to see that she has Singularity, she has a sorry Scientist, and she has Stasis, one of the most powerful abilities and one of the most useful abilities in the entire game, if you ask me. So we're gonna go ahead and max out a sorry Scientist here. And we are gonna go with Controller. I see no reason to go Operative. Uh, again, you can either make her powers better, which she has Singularity, Warp, Stasis, or you can make her do more damage with her weapons. No, we do the damage. She can hang it back. So we're gonna go with controller, a sorry controller. We're gonna put a point into stasis so that we have it, points into that, and then we are going to max out, uh, you know, stasis, two more seconds. If we max that out, I think it's more important that we just max out warp and go heavy warp. And then we have points in Singularity as well. Uh, we have to put the points into Singularity, but I would highly recommend Heavy Warp in Stasis because this mission is going to require us to kill vanguards and stuff incredibly quickly. So we're gonna hop out of here. We're gonna wait, we don't have anything that we can do. But before we proceed and fight these guys, we can actually grab this med kit for 100 credits. And then hopefully we can send a Singularity out over to those guys. And also an overload, keeping them all kind of contained. We're gonna charge in here, and because of the power of the Geth Plasma Shotgun, we are going to be able to absolutely shred these enemies super quickly. We're gonna hop into cover real quick because there's another agent over there. Charge him, taking him down real quick. More enemies are gonna come out as soon as over on this side. So they can come out either side, but we're gonna go ahead yet again and do Singularity, hopefully catching them all in that. And then we're going to charge into that Singularity, hopefully getting the Tactician Trophy as we go. We wanna take care of these combat drones. Go ahead and charge yet again on this engineer, who's gonna go over the edge and he's dead. You love to see it. And then we'll just go ahead and finish off this Shadow Broker agent. And I believe we're going to be dealing with yet some more Shadow broker agents coming in behind us where our car was which yet again we're going to throw out singularity overload and charge and then we can just pump some damage into these babies look at how quickly we have another shadow breaker broker agent car coming in which again we're going to do the same thing pop singularity overload charge The perks of Singularity is that while it may not lift everybody into the air, it is going to allow us to uh, kind of just stop them from moving too far, allowing them to not spread out, which then allows us to come in with something like Overload or Area Overload or Area Warp or whatever you're using to do damage in an AoE. Another Shadow Broker truck coming in, which again, we're going to do what we always do and Singularity. Unfortunately, not able to charge these enemies. Now we can. And we're going to go ahead and finish off the engineer, the agent, and take this one down as well. Seeing the power of the Geth Plasma Shotgun yet again, I kind of missed it, you know? I kind of missed it. Let's go ahead and stasis this one real quick. And now you can see what stasis does. Completely locks him down. My target's down. Yep. <laughs> She's like, yeah, no, I did it. I did it, no big deal. Fake terminal right there for 1,500 credits, and it looks like Liara just made a passage for us. You love to see that. Come Thank on. you so much. Can climb over to get to Vizier's car. Well, that was very nice of you. Now that we're full with ammo, let's just head over to where Liara looks like she chucked a car through. Somehow we missed that. And enter into the hotel proper where we're going to find some... Loki mechs, it would seem. There's a dancer that's alive. And we'll also find the Seer's car where we can grab power cells for 100 credits. We can open this panel for a damage protection upgrade, which is easily missable, by the way, unless you don't go if like it's it's kind of unintuitive because it looks like you have to go into this room. So definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you check out the Seer's car. We can come in here and see that there's Loki mechs that are now dead. It looks like this hotel did have some protection. And there is a patron over here. Hey, we're unharmed. We didn't see anything. That's all right. 
I'm not, listen, I'm just glad you guys made it. And let's go ahead and talk to Liara about this lustful video. What kind of hotel is this? A good one. Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari body. So did I. <laughs> Anyways, we grab that med kit there for a hundred credits, and we can come over here and find an easily missed wall safe, which had a nice fat six thousand credits in it. Looks like there is also something boiling on the stove. You can hear it. Uh oh. Anyways, let's continue out the only way that we can go, which is out through this door. I mean, if you did miss that, maybe maybe that one's not as easily missable. The wall safe, though, can be, I think, because it's kind of hidden, it's dark, it's in shadows, it's kind of hard to see it. We need to find Vasir, make sure she doesn't get away. She's tough, I'll give her that much. She's a specter. I was just gonna say, she's a specter, of course she's tough. Looks like things are not going well in this apartment here. We can open yet another med station for 100 credits. See how many credits we've gotten from just not using metagels. It's actually pretty wild. We can also access this personal database here or for uh, or data pad for 200 or 2,500 credits. I can, I know what I'm talking about. And proceeding this way, find all of these bodies. It doesn't look good. And finally, another med kit that we can open for 100 credits. Apparently, they expected us to take damage, but like, hello, we're awesome. Anyways, you can also change out your loadout if that's something that you are looking at. Uh, we're going to keep the missile launcher for now because I think it's actually fairly useful for, for this section. But you can easily use the arc projector is incredibly good for this. Um, anything that's going to CC things is really good for this. Keep that in mind. Vizier, it's over. Hey, hey you! Come here, what's your name? M mariana Mariana, you wanna live, don't you? Tell those people that you wanna live. Please. We'll get you out of here safely, Mariana. Well, that's good to hear. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. Scars them for life. I'm going to end you, Fazir. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it the usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? Thermal clips on the ground now. Power cells too. Is that it? What? Basir, I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I unleashed the Rachni on the galaxy. So for your sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. You're bluffing. Now, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. And, my friends, we now have a battle against one of the hardest enemies that we've fought so far, Tella Vasir, which we can go ahead and do double warps, which you'll love to see, and we can put as much damage into her as possible. Now, she has an insanely tough barrier, so she's also going to be charging all over the place, which, hey, so are we. Is it a charge? Is it a teleport? She doesn't need a target. She just kind of does it. Anyways, having those warps is going to be incredibly useful on this fight. One of the main reasons why I suggested doing it, dodging that shockwave. Go ahead and... Oh, somehow we were able to get to her. This fight is so good on a Vanguard because we can keep up with her charge almost consistently. And I just... It's just so fun. So, where did she go? Where did she go? She went over here. So, right now, she's actually leaving the fight. She heads up to the top. And she actually makes 
some new enemies appear. We're going to go ahead and overload these, take out them, and unfortunately for us, we actually now have to deal with some engineers. So she, remember, she called in the Shadow Broker and was like, yo, I need help. And guess what? She got help. So go ahead and take these guys out as quickly as possible by punching them. Miss me? And she'll now enter the fray yet again. So let's go ahead and rinse and repeat. Her barrier did not recharge, which is very, very good for us. We're gonna go ahead and double warp yet again. And I think it's about time that maybe we go ahead and switch to our missile launcher, just so that we can do some serial damage against her barrier as much as possible. Charge yet again, keep that going. And then finally, we are going to barrier yet again. And don't forget, we can also reef, which is incredibly, incredibly useful does a ton of damage. Unfortunately, Miranda did go down. We're gonna go ahead and charge here, get our shields back. And it looks like she is about to lose her barrier, which means all that she will have left is her armor, which you love to see. We're gonna go ahead and do this and warp yet again. And once her barrier is depleted, she will zoom on out of here. And yet again, we'll have another wave of enemies, including two rocket drones and the engineers that will start coming in. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use what little I have left to just try to take down these guys as quickly as possible. We'll go ahead and stasis these rocket drones and we'll go ahead and target these, hopefully switching back to the Geth Plasma. Go ahead and overload. And we should be able to take these guys out pretty quickly. The other engineer is I'll finish you myself. dead. Anyways, she's gonna come back down. She only has armor now. So hopefully we can do some damage. We already have our incendiary on there so we can keep going. Remember, warp does work against armor as well. So that is pretty darn handy. See, now I hope you see why I chose the stuff that I did choose. The, uh, the warp and uh, stasis instead of singularity because singularity just would not do us any good on this fight at all. Things looking a little hairy here as she's starting to lose her armor. And we're just going to keep doing as much damage as possible with both Liara and Miranda warping as much as possible. This, I, you know, I just realized we got all... all all lady crew absolutely just shrekking. And I just, I love that. I love that. She now, my friends, only has a little bit of health. We're gonna go ahead and charge. This is it. Basir getting absolutely blasted for the ultimate insult. We're killing a specter with melee. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Sakat's personal data pad. This has what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow Broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. Is that why you sold out the council to work for him? You think I betrayed the council? Like Saren, go to hell. The Broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the Broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. Spectres don't blow up buildings filled with innocent people. Sure we do. We get our hands dirty so the Council doesn't have to. The Councilors might complain about our methods to soothe their consciences but they never look too closely. Besides, you're with Cerberus. You have any idea what your terrorist friends have done? I know who they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You wanna judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps. Hell, your own unit on a coos. And you're with them. Don't you dare judge me. Oh. Don't you? Eliminate the Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. Vizier's dead. 
I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Vizier before long. If he decides to kill... We'll get Farron out of there alive, Liara. I promise. I know. You're here to help. Just like always. That's not a good thing. When we first met on Therum, you saved me from the Geth. You fought a Krogan Battlemaster while I cowered. Now you're doing it again. And I'm still leaning on you for help. That's what friends do, Liara. I can get us there based on Sakat's data. The Normandy stealth drive will keep them from detecting us. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. That's a little cold. They killed innocent people. You know what I mean. Do I? When I hit the ground back at the Trade Center, you went after Vizier without a backward look. A little fall wasn't going to kill you. I had to stay on Vizier. I had to stay rational, make the call, like I did with Sakat. That's Vizier's fault, not yours. Sakat had no idea what the stakes were. I put him in harm's way to get the data I needed. I got him killed, and I'd do it again. But from here on out, things will be simple. Get in, get Farron, get out. And kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? That's it. We just stop for a second? We'll be jumping several light years. There's time to talk. About what? About us. Shepard, listen, I'm glad you're here. You worried there might be terminals you need me to hack? That's not fair. You were dead. I came back. It's not that easy. You can't just come back and have two years of mourning suddenly vanish. I'm sorry, Shepard. I can't get into this. For now, let's just focus on getting Farron back. Fine. And my friends, we'll go ahead and end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If we were to continue, it would be so long. The next episode is perfect for one episode. We'll do all of what's left of the layer of the Shadow Broker next time. And I can't wait to bring it to you guys. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres on YouTube. Sincerely appreciate you. An even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missiledineonline. I would not be able to do this without you. Link is in the description below if you want to become a patron. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and remember, never give up, never surrender to rogue specters, because apparently, they're a dime a damn dozen!